Geographical dramatics, the scenic wows. Specifically, let's look at the beauty shot. As a quick recap, working backwards, you're aiming to make an outstanding video. You've collected some footage, which you're going to edit into that video. The footage that you've selected is going to have dramatical elements within it. The dramatical elements will have been generated from you having selected a series of different flight patterns that you've used to fly through the landscape to collect the footage. The specific set of dramatics that we're discussing here are the dramatics that come from what you see in the scene, in your view, what is going on in the geography there. Specifically, the beauty shot. Look at the photo in the background here. This is something that I collected mid-flight in Bali. Very stunning, as you can see. The way to think about the beauty shot is it's the shot that generates a sense of stunning awe when people see it. It's where their jaws drop to the ground, exclaiming how beautiful it actually is. Now, this beauty shot, this beauty, comes from when you're generally just up in the air. It's not something that you're going to see specifically from the cover reveal or the discovery reveal. Those are discussed elsewhere. You will see beautiful scenes in those things. But what I'm talking about here is how you get this sense of beauty from your general free flying. The way to think about the beauty shot is it's pretty much like a photo. And so how do we get a good photo? The kind of things that you're always looking for are interesting patterns in the landscape varied colours, complex scenery, sunsets, mists, clouds, puppies. Maybe not puppies, but you get the idea. To make sure that the dramatic that you get from the beauty shot is as strong as possible, here are some top tips. These would apply to taking photos as well, landscape photos particularly. You want to be flying and shooting in the golden hour, so that's the hour around sunset or sunrise where you're going to get the best, most interesting light. You really need clean air for this. If you've got any smog in the air, then it's going to detract from the sense of beauty. And I've had lots of shots ruined by this, unfortunately. You also want to be setting your GoPro or whatever camera you're using to its wide angle setting. So you're getting as much wide details in as possible. Typically, you'll be flying a little bit higher up here as well so that you can get those details in. You don't need to go very high, but just a little bit higher up will make sure that you haven't got obstructions in the way of the big view that you're getting in. What flight patterns lend themselves best to actually getting the beauty shot in the can? Well, the line is a great starter. That's where you're flying along and you're collecting details from the landscape as you go down a particular line. The lines automatically have details within them. That's why you've chosen it. And so they're more likely to lead to you getting these beauty shots. The 360 is the other big winner here pretty much the point of the 360 is to get an unobstructed panoramic view up in the sky and they should always be looking beautiful that's why you're trying to collect them in. You can also get these from things such as the crab where you're going along sideways but you're a bit closer to stuff here so it's not quite a strong source of the beauty shot. Similarly as well for the elevator when you're flying straight up in the air you're getting in lots of wide angle details so that can be quite good for the beauty shot but the line and the 360 are the one that you're, you're really going for. Gotchas. What do you need to watch out for? What things are going to weaken the, the dramatic? Well, you want to make sure that you don't get any flight erratics in there. So steady flying. No yaw, no sudden movements. You also want to avoid getting any unwanted in-shot items. So man-made stuff typically um, weakens the beauty dramatic. Pylons, telegraph poles, those kinds of things. What do you do with these clips once you've actually got them in the can? Well, they make excellent intro clips. Partly, this is because you want to keep these clips pretty short. This has always surprised me. I've made one or two videos which are almost totally beauty shots. And those videos are watched for about the shortest time of all of my videos. People love beautiful shots, but they only want to see them for about three or four seconds. So continue to think of these a little bit like photographs. The beauty shots make a fantastic contribution to your overall production. So if you're flying in an area where you can get these beauty shots, then really make sure that you get them in. They're not vital to have in every single movie that you end up making, but if it's possible, get them in the can.